You're watching Greater Brockton. Mark Lindy, your host, and I have, a, I guess, a new fan favorite. I have Who Allie Brios. <laughs> yes, Allie, you welcome do. back. Thank you, you do a lot of great community work, and uh, you just came out of that resident leader training program. I did. That was put on uh, mayor's office with Lynn Smith yes. and An Andrea. Burton, Burton, yes. And, and you, you were with other graduates. I was. Recently. Yes. So you have decided to spin off your own organization. Yes. And I love the name of it. I'm not going to say it. You say it because it, it, I think it's perfect. <laughs> Thank you. So it's Diverse Initiatives Neighborhood Association because to me the most important factor is diversity. Mm -hmm. It's our neighborhoods, and we're going to associate each other with um, business owners, nonprofit, churches, non churches, and most for the betterment of our community, and in and, and showing people that we can come together, blend our resources together here in our city mm -hmm. for the betterment of ourselves in whole. We are our family, well, ourselves. That's the best part of Brockton, if yes. you really think about it. It's the people of Brockton, it's the people like yourself, that care, that want to get involved, that want to help, that want to give something back and help lift up others. Yes. Um, without judgment, without criticism, without fear. I mean, I'm telling you, I've lived there all my life. My kids grew up here. They went to school yes. here. I went to school here. It's a great place. It's a great it place. Really people, is. I really get is. angry when people Brockton, you live where? Yes. And, and, and to me, those are fighting words because this yep. is the city of champions. This is it a is. city of diversity. If you go way back to the founding of Brockton, it might have been signed with Massasoit, okay. Native American. Yes, it was. But think of all the waves of immigrants that have come through this city. Until it, this day. To, Until this and, day. And who knows who the next set of immigrants are going to be. Exactly. And they founded the city. They worked in the shoe factories. They work and nowadays. It's harder to get on Route 24 and commute to Boston or get on the T and get on the train. Right. It's, it's a bustling place. The real estate market's taking off. It um, is. We it have is. development down in the downtown area, and yes. there's a lot of momentum. There is. Okay. There really is. Right now, we're in the middle of an election. We're not talking about that because there's plenty of that we have talked <laughs> there about. Is. But this is um, so promoting, you know. Again, Diverse Initiatives Neighborhood Association and what's come out of that leadership program. Lynn was involved with Frederick Douglass Neighborhood Association yes, and then the Keith Park Neighborhood Association. Yes. And there, are, there, there are actually enough places around the city that you could probably set up about 50 <laughs> neighborhood this associations. Room for all of us okay? Because we're yes. in seven wards. Yes, we the are. Seven wards. Yes, we are. And then we're a city as a whole, mm -hmm. and there's commonalities. The, I think the best thing the city ever did was put the train so you don't have to do grade crossings and nobody gets killed. Exactly. Okay. <laughs> it did divide east side, west side, but it there's did. east side, west side, north side, south side, Campello, Montella, right. you, you name it. There's all sorts of little villages and stuff. But you know what? That's what the diversity is, and that's what the uh, initiative is all about, and that's what brings it down to our street, our ward, our neighborhood. We cannot manage the whole community, let alone things in our personal life. But what we can manage is in and outside our surrounding homes. And that's what's the beauty of the, the, um, the division is not for us to be divided, but to be united and be responsible and accountable for our communities. Well, if you think of it, there's more similarities than differences. There really general. is. If you think even about like religions and stuff, everybody focuses on why people are different. If you really go back into the root of it, you yes. can figure out why people are similar. More okay. than different. And you learn yes. from the difference. What does everybody want? Everyone wants a good job, a safe neighborhood, a nice house to live in, great a good job, a yes. great education, exactly. all of that. It doesn't matter what culture you are, what religion you are, anything. That's what no. everybody wants. And people came to this country to escape persecution, exactly. religious, biases bigotry, and biases differences. and stuff. Exactly. So where do they end up? They end up in Brockton. Um, I didn't know until, you know, I wasn't even conscious of it in 1977. Of course. The Cape Verdean Association of Brockton was founded in 1977. I was a sophomore in high school yes. and many Andrade and others formed that, formed that you group. You know, I didn't even know that their years in this city has gone that far. 
Neither did I. He came over on the schooner. He came over. He has a show called the Cello, Cello Ernestina. That was the yes. schooner he came over from. I don't call it a boat. <laughs> of course. Okay, and they're restoring it. And one day I'm going to go down. We're going to do a documentary. That's awesome. That's because beautiful. he's great. Right. But um, and but everything that's going on is good. What you're doing is good. Um, you have your, your, do you want me to do your email address so people can get in touch with you or your phone number? What's the best Definitely. way to get you? The best way to get me, you know what? My phone number is accessible to oh. all who wants to connect because if I'm not able to answer, that's what voice message is all about. Okay. And I definitely can um, answer and if they don't communicate with me, but I'm going to assure that I'm going to connect with them back. Tell them the number. Yes. So my phone number is 508-857-7951. I'm Allie. I'm passionately, I love the city of Brockton. I've been here for about 20 years. I am not going anywhere. And my whole focus right now is representing, taking initiatives and bringing the community together. And my first initiative to promote is the event that's coming up. Let's talk about it. It is the second annual Brockton Youth Family Fun Day. Did I get it right? You sure enough did. Okay, thank you for prompting me <laughs> yes. ahead of time. I'm not yes. that smart. Um, and this time it's the, <coughs> excuse me, it's the second annual one. This one is in memory of Mayor yes, Bill Carpenter. It, it is. And I remember that um, I was very grateful that I went to the first annual, invited um, by Inez. Inez Figueroa, Latin Women's Association. I love her dearly. She's, a, she's very committed to the community. Her, and um, that's where I met Sam Chennett um, of the Spot of Business Owner, but also part of the Homeless uh, Coalition Program in the city of Brockton, as well as supporting with the Block Security. The Block Security is actually the one who's put this um, event together. And we all have a common ground, as you stated. We all want um, to support our community, most build our children and our families because we understand the struggle. So I got to tell you because yes. I got the three minute cue, so we probably get yes. two, and I need thirty seconds. So, so this we're looking at August twenty fifth, right? Yes. Is that a Sunday? It is a Sunday, okay. and it is from eleven a.m. to four p.m. at the Gilmore Elementary School. So the most important thing that I want to share is is very is this. When I went there, I saw the children. What stood out? Barbers were in a tent. Barbers from Starliner, they were there giving free haircuts to the children. Backpacks full and many tables from different uh, sponsors, organizations that have come together uh, to supply their children with haircuts, but most the children enjoying themselves being happy. And what I love about this is, is that we're leaving politics behind. We're leaving our indifferences behind. This day is so much needed with respect to our, our late mayor, Bill Carpenter. I remember I literally got in line just to shake his hand, and he was given free ice cream. I know I didn't want the ice cream, but I just wanted to shake his hand because to me, it was an inspiration, and he definitely leaves that legacy behind. And I am here today because I'm supporting everyone that is in this event, but I'm here for healing of our community. We need unity. We need to embrace, we're different. We have indifferences. Let's not let the politics, the sanctuary, not the sanctuary, any of that. Let's focus on our children and be ready for school. Exactly, and that was one of my favorite pictures of Bill Carpenter in the ice cream truck giving away the ice cream. Because yes. if you think about Bill and you remember him, he started out youth hockey, Downey Little yes. League, school committee, he cared about kids. There's no question in my mind that he cared about kids. He has six of his own. Yes. Great kids, good yes. family. And in his memory, everybody should go to this event, have a fun day, get a backpack, yes. have an ice cream, and yes. go from there. And I just got the cue. Yes. So we got to go. Thanks yes. for being here. You and I pleasure. could talk for half an hour. We sure can. Take care. It's a pleasure. Thank you you're very much. You're welcome. You're watching Greater Brockton. Stay tuned for more events, places, people, and faces right here in the City of Champions.